All right, what is going on, y'all? So sinuses are busting my ass as the weather cools off. This eye, I woke up, it was like crusted shut. So I don't know if it's like tiny, if I look like Mad Eye Moody from fucking Harry Potter. I typically have this size of lazy eye anyway, but it also crusts shut and it makes the problem even worse. I couldn't breathe out of my nose when I woke up. I still have a lingering headache from yesterday. This weather is freaking killing me. And you know what's crazy? I didn't even have sinuses like until I was like 30 years old. I never had sinuses. So, I mean, I have sinuses, but I didn't have like allergies or sinus issues. Um, so, I don't know what the fuck's going on, but we're still making it, all right? We're still making it. I don't know what time it is. Hold on. That's not even my phone. That's not my phone in my pocket. Okay. Oh, there it is over there. Whew. Sorry, I'm running kind of late, so I'm trying to get a little intro in. 7.43. We're going to roll out. We got the uh, everything packed up, and uh, we're going to get to work. It's delivery day, so we got some stuff to load out. And then um, after that, probably the same song and dance. Chicken for lunch. Fasting in the morning, of course. Maybe a little cup of coffee. Definitely a little cup of coffee. And uh, we'll get this day started. So I'll see y'all at work. All right, y'all. So lunch has arrived. We got a special little box here. But first, I'm going to show you the mainstay, the go-to. All right, we got the two pieces of white meat chicken. And it looks cooked to perfection okay but we also got we got something special here. all right we got the chicken fried steak with a little white gravy all right this is a little higher in calories a little lower in protein but this is literally the best chicken fried steak i've ever had all right y'all so i'm just trying to trying to find balance here okay one day i had the dark meat chicken some days i have liver some days i have shrimp and today i was just feeling this chicken fried steak before i was on the cut I literally ate this chicken fried steak every single day of the week. It was absolutely incredible. Oh yeah, it's gonna be so good, okay? And we're gonna work that into the diet, no big deal. I worked in crumble cookie yesterday. I can easily work in chicken fried steak today because crumble cookie, you know, it's basically all fat and carbs, very little protein. At least the chicken fried steak also has some protein, all right? Of course, we're breaking off the flats we're doing the little snackarooski for later, a little treat. Now that's not gonna be the last thing I eat. This right here will be the last thing I eat. And this gravy, <laughs> I'm so excited about this. I can't even express how excited I am, but I need to remember to cut this camera off before my fingers get absolutely filthy. Um, even the chicken fried steak I eat with my hands, I peel off a piece, I dip it in the gravy like a chicken nugget, okay? Um, so we're about to get messy right here. But I'm gonna go tear this up and I will see y'all later. All right, y'all. So it is the end of the work day and I'm about to head home. I already have crew packed in the truck. Don't want to hear any criticism from anyone. I have the truck running. Okay. The truck is running. I never put him in the truck, even though the weather's cool. I never put him in the hot truck, okay? I love that boy. But I also got some, um... where did you put this stuff? Is this that? Let me see what's going on here. All right, so um, I got two different types of chicken tenders so we got to like ship groceries offshore and every now and then when my driver's out and about um i'll be like hey i'll be like hey why don't you grab me some of this you know it's for me to try so i initially told him that i wanted these they're made by just bear i've had the nuggets but these are the strips but uh these have gluten in them and they're 170 calories with 17 grams of protein so pretty good macronutrients but then i saw these okay and these are gluten-free grain-free you know all that shit no added hormones or anything and uh they have 130 calories and 23 grams of protein so not only are they gluten-free which i do think is a digestive irritant for me even though i eat it still pretty much every day uh, but the macros also go freaking crazy. So I told him actually to buy these instead of the other ones, but he got both, which is no big deal. That just means I have two different things to try and review. And um, if whichever one's better, I'll probably stick with.
Woo! Believe in work, baby. All right, got everything. Doop. Hey, little boy, what you doing? All right, y'all, we just got home and I'm trying something new. These real good chicken tenders. And I saw some good reviews, I saw some bad reviews. So I'm gonna do an official uh, food review video, a separate video of me eating these that I'm gonna post to the YouTube and to TikTok. They don't have any air fryer instructions, but we're just gonna throw them in there and hope for the best. All right, so this is what the chicken tenders look like. They smell quite good. We're just gonna give it a go. All right, while we wait for our dinner to cook, this is the dog's dinner. They got green beans, fresh fruit, whipped cream, pasture eggs, and their kibble. Hey, you ready for dinner, huh? You ready for dinner? All right, y'all, so this is what it's looking like. All right, y'all, so meal number two. Going down the hatch. I might eat more than this, but I'm about to do a food review of this, so I just wanted this kind of like unadulterated. This is no sauce, no extra seasoning. This is the real good chicken tenders. 130 calories for a serving, 23 grams of protein. So this is two servings, 260 calories, 46 grams of protein, which is pretty crazy. They're coated in um, whey protein and chickpea flour, which is why it's so high in protein. They smell pretty damn good. There's um, not a lot of flavor to it, but if you add seasoning or you add a sauce, it does like have the coating of fried chicken. So it's different from just like a grilled chicken. It does give the fried chicken feel. There's not a whole lot of flavor to it. Um, I would 100% eat this again for the macros though. What I did here is I coated them in buffalo sauce. So this is this is great. All right, y'all, so those real good chicken tenders were incredible, but I'm not full. I probably could have eaten the whole bag. I only ate half. So now we're going with half a pizza. All right, so as y'all know, the pizza has decent macros, but we can always make them better with a little fat-free cheese, okay? We're going to put four servings of fat-free cheese on here, which is 112 grams. It's a crap ton of cheese. All right, so we got 113 grams, close enough. All right, y'all, so I'm continuing this pizza here as a continuation of meal number two. Of course, we're putting the, uh, the honey on it. Although, I will say that uh, it's been a little minute since I had the chicken, so it feels like meal number three. I'll also say if I had given that chicken enough time to settle in my stomach, I probably wouldn't have made this pizza because I'm actually quite full. That was a little sriracha that we threw on there, okay? Sweet and spicy. So this, let me grab a good slice here. Woo, got a little cheese pull. That's what we're working with right here. A little slice of pie. And I know this is gonna be delicious, but like I said, the chicken actually did fill me up. Now with this, we had the chicken from lunch, the buffalo chicken tenders just now from Real Good, um, and this pizza, I'm at about 1,750 calories with 199 grams of protein. So I've almost hit my protein goal and I'm gonna have 1,450 calories left, which is absolutely insane. I'm definitely not eating again before I go to the gym um, because I'd just be way too full of the gym. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on schedule. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> May have to enjoy some more crumble cookie later. We have plenty left over. And I was thinking I wouldn't be able to, but the calories are so low today, I could easily eat some crumble cookie.
else. I was trying to do this with my other camera, but I had the 35 on. It was just too zoomed. But this here is my gym, okay? And then this one room over is the office with the sauna in it. So literally leave the gym, hop in the sauna, and then that's my bedroom back there. So that's where my shower is. So everything whoop, is within, you know, 10 feet of one another. I'm in my office, gonna hit up the sauna, okay? So we're gonna sauna, shower, and I'll see y'all for meal number three. All right, y'all, so, oh. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we're sitting down for essentially the last meal of the day, okay? You could call it meal number three. You could call it meal number four. I got a crispy cold one right here. Whew. All right, that's the original Dr. Pepper Zero. I've been missing that bad boy. I hadn't had that stocked in the fridge for a while. I've been drinking the cherry, which is a close, close second, but it's not quite as good as that original. Right now I'm eating um, the beef that I made in the pressure cooker. It was a chuck roast. It's eight ounces of chuck roast and 250 grams of rice. And I don't know what I did to this beef, y'all, but it is so good. This is going to become a staple in the diet. This is amazing. Now the chuck roast, it's a little bit fattier cut. But man, it is incredible, y'all. I want to do it with the noodles, but I completely missed my mouth there. I got food all over the place. I want to do it with the noodles, but I uh, had all this leftover rice that I need to eat. The noodles last forever. The rice was reaching its limit. I can't stop taking a bite of this. I actually need to track this. Let's see. Let me go into my fitness pal here. Remember, I have 1,400 calories at my disposal right now. It is 1043 at night. Let's see. Chuck roast. We went there. Rice. We went 250 grams. And then we'll put, there's, a, there's a, a thing for gravy. I'm just going to put 100 calories of gravy. It probably isn't even that. But we're at 2779. It's actually kind of a high calorie meal. I didn't expect it to be that high. But I'm probably 985 calories. Okay, and how, much, how many grams of protein? It's just the chuck roast is so full of fat. Only 53 grams of protein. Honestly, looking at the amount of rice, I probably could have done 150 grams of rice. But um, I had so much leftover rice, I'm trying to finish it off. Now, that's still going to leave me with about 400 calories available. So I'm probably going to indulge in a little bit of crumble cookie, okay? Because we have a lot left over. So that's probably what I'll do after this. But this meal is incredible. I could stop right here and be in a larger deficit. I could. But I don't want to let that crumble cookie go to waste. Come on. What I need to start doing is I need to start eating the crumble cookie and then like giving it to my family. Like maybe my sister and her kids. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, maybe my sister and her kids would appreciate it. Because as long as it's in the house, I'm going to eat it, okay? I can't stop. It's so delicious. Yeah, but that's really it for this uh, for this meal right here. I'm going to go tear this up. If I do eat some crumble cookie, I'll see y'all again. And if not, I'll see y'all in the next video. All right, y'all. So I have, in fact, returned for crumble cookie. We got the blondie. So basic, but impossible to mess up, okay? I have the Nutter Butter. This one really took me by surprise. This cookie's incredible. <laughs> and we have my favorite, 
the semi-sweet chocolate chunk. Wow. Okay, so that is officially the last treat of the night. Man, that was so good. I will see y'all in the next video.